back on this power cube and it still works. I have tested this thing and it has a 60 watt light bulb in it and it will run well over an hour easily. But what we want to know, of course, will it run a 1500 watt halogen floodlight? If we plug it in and buy that. <laughs> There's the back of the light, as you can see the technical spec on it, 1500 watts. If I hold it off the floor at least. Right, here we go. Ready? Boff. Cool. Feel that here? Yeah. We'll have to turn this off, because it might... Be a bit better with a room lighting. Ready? Wow. That's unbelievable, isn't it? Got yeah. a lot of power in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no cheating. We don't do cheating on this channel. There you are. How crazy is that? <laughs> that is madness. So I guess you want to see what's inside it. We had some very interesting suggestions of what could possibly be running this unit. One of them was a load of potato slices in series. I have to say that is not the answer. It's easier than that, guys. What about an inverter and a car battery? No, it wouldn't fit. Good idea, though. Oh, I know. What about the guts of an induction cooker? Did we somehow transmit the power to this box electronically? No, we didn't. So this little box, it definitely delivers 240 volt. In fact, it's slightly a little bit more than that. But I think... Now is the time you really want to know what's inside it. And I'm going to tell you, because I promise. Now then, about a year ago, maybe a bit more, I packed up smoking and I used these things, disposable electronic cigarettes. And I thought, hmm, all the old ones will run out. Instead of chucking them out, I'll keep them. And you know what? All it is in that box is a few of these batteries out of here. Lipos, I think they are. That's all it is that runs it. So I guess you want to have a look. Oh, there's quite a few. <laughs> but they do pack quite a bit of current, which is useful for various things, obviously. In front of us there, you can see the e-cig. I've popped the ends off, pushed the guts out. There you can see the battery. Trouble is, there's nine rows of nine. 81 batteries in series. The voltage is obviously DC and it's slightly a bit more than 240. There you have it. A bit dubious of touching it. Well, it definitely works. It's what happens when you pack up smoking, chaps, but I highly recommend it. So, gentlemen and ladies, thank you very much for watching the videos. I hope you found it amusing. I will see you very soon on the next one, as usual. Cheers, bye-bye.